Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to do the cool blue here and talk about the violet spectrum with the warm blue here. All right, you can see how I've got this laid out on my color wheel there. And you'll see that on this color wheel that you'll have in class, I've got everything very clearly marked. All right, in class, the colors that we're using are marked with warm blue, a WB, or a C be for cool blue. This one's kind of faded. It's right there. But I do have those marked and hopefully by the time you do this video I'll actually have a little label on them to, to help signify which is which. So this being my warm blue, I'm going to set it right here next to my cool red. My warm blue is called warm because it has a little bit of red in it. Just like the cool blue is called cool because it has a little bit of blue in it. All right. So first of all, I'm going to take some of this warm blue and paint it right in my warm blue uh, part of my primary triangle here. Now the warm blue is uh, a lot of kids say to me, Mr. George, I have a really hard time seeing the difference between the warm blue and the cool blue. So what I'm going to do in this video, uh, because of that complaint from previous students, um, I'm going to put a little bit of white into each of these, the cool blue and the warm blue, so that you can see the difference easier. It's much easier to see the difference in blue if you add just a little teeny bit of white. So I'm just going to throw a little white on my palette here for the power of demonstration. And I'm going to add a little bit of cool blue into the white. And you'll see this color here. I'm going to put it right out on the edge of my color wheel here so you can kind of see it separately. And you'll see that this area here is my cool blue. Kind of looks like that. It's almost like a sky blue color. All right. Now the cool blue, um, which tends towards the green side, looks different once you start mixing it with the white. It looks a little more towards the turquoisey side. I like to think of this one as kind of sea green blue. It's kind of got that, uh, that tropical water blue look. Looks very different from the warm blue once you add a little bit of water to it. Or sorry, a little bit of white to it. So as you're um, mixing your colors, keep that in mind. If you use the, not the wrong kind of blue, but you use the opposite kind of blue, you use the warm, or sorry, the cool blue with the cool red, you're not going to get the kind of violet that I would like to see on this exercise. You'll get something different. All right, so for our red violet, I'm going to take a little bit of the warm blue and the cool red and mix them together. Now, this color should be more red than violet but it's not going to be that cool red. Okay, here's my cool red. Uh, I'm going to put that red violet in. It's, you can see that it's very different than the, um, the, war, or the, the cool red, but you'll see that it is still violet-y color. And some of you in the video might say, oh, well, that's pretty violet. It's not bad. I like that as a violet. Um, and this we would call a red violet because there's more red in it than there is blue in it. All right. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more blue. Now blue is a really powerful color. Um, if you add too much too quickly, it's going to change very quickly to something that is too dark. This one is still kind of to the red blue, sorry, to the reddish side. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue to it. And you might at this point barely even be able to tell on my palette what color it is. So I'm going to just paint it right out here and smooth it around. You can see that that's a much um, violeter, violety -er color. Um, it's a real violet color. Okay, I could even add a little bit more blue to that. Okay, there we go. That's probably going to be right what I want. There we go. That's their violet color there. You can really see that kind of um, warm, bluish, violet color in there. There we go. And when you see this demonstration in class, um, you, I mean, you see this actual model hanging up, you'll be able to see the difference between these two, even though it might be kind of difficult in the video to see the difference. Now I'm going to take another blob of blue and add it into there. And this is going to be quite blue at this point. And I'm going to paint this into the blue-violet area. All right, and you'll see this, this one is 
very much towards the blue spectrum of the violet color. All right. Now, once I get this violet mixed and the violet on there, we are going to wash our brush and make sure we put the warm blue into the warm blue section. I'm going to wash my brush off very well here and grab a separate paper towel to dry my brush off on because that other one's getting kind of gunky. Okay, I'm going to take some fresh pure warm blue and put it right into this section and you'll see that color difference right there. Okay, now I'm going to mix or get some cool blue and put it into the cool blue triangle here or not triangle, little section, excuse me. And you'll see that against the white of the paper it's got that kind of um, very cool look to it. Now adding those, well, sorry, get this one and do this cool blue here. And again, especially on the video, you might have trouble seeing the difference between these two blues. Uh, in class, if you look at them hanging up, you'll very clearly see the difference because they're very different colors. Okay, now I'm going to add these two together. My uh, cool blue and a little bit of warm blue to kind of make an in-between, a mixed blue. And if I put that right here, you can see it's not quite a cool blue, but it's not quite a warm blue. It's uh, something else. It's a combination between the two. All right. Now that I've got that violet spectrum done, the cool spectrum there, we're going to move on to the yellow and blue that make the green spectrum for our color wheel. 